Let me explain. On the 4 a.m. jump straight, there's not a wrong way or a right way. Okay, there's a better way. And I'm not saying it's wrong the way you're hitting, well, I am saying it's wrong the way you're hitting the ball. Even if he did like a WTA stroke, or like a lot of girls hit, they take the racket and they go this way with the racket. What they do is, Chris, they, they don't put the racket down prematurely, okay, and hit the ball. So whether I get him to the outside, which I'm gonna explain, or he went the other way, which he does, you go, he swings way too big, and he goes to the inside, he also does another thing, and it's almost like double trouble. He not only goes back too far, he puts the racket down. So then what happens is this, Aiden, right? Then what happens is this, he's been told this probably, to swing low to high, get top spin, get under the ball. But see, that's all a byproduct of swinging the racket, and the racket goes down. See, my legs and racket are gonna go like that. What he does is goes like this, he puts it down and he does it at the same time. So it looks like your forehand, he's like spooning, golfing, boloing it, shoveling it, you know, kind of just lifting it over the net. And you're trying really hard, but you're not getting anything for free. Okay, there's no real cracking of the ball. You got very good hand eye coordination. That's what I see so far. Um, very good hands, but we got to change the stroke in its entirety. Ready position. So. Go ahead, when you take the racket back, the first thing he has to understand is the shoulders initiate the take back. So, and this is not gonna be good for him because he'd rather just take it back with his arm and the rack goes all the way back to Austin. See, when he goes, when you take it back, it's a unit. Unless he's running forward, every time, Chris, when you take the racket back, better, Rafa, Joker, any of these guys, watch this. See, the racket doesn't move. See, what's moving is, what's moving? Shoulder. And the minute I fed the ball, he just left the station right away with the racket. So, so when you take the racket, okay? It's really a unit turn from here. Got it? Now, here's where it's going to get tricky, and I might have to chop it up today. See, when he swings the racket, see, if there's a clock around your body, let's just say 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, I'm going to have it at 5 o'clock and the racket head's gonna be above the wrist. What he does is he put the racket at 7.38, and he put it down. So he's like toast. It, it, you might hit it over, because he's swinging really low to high, but he's never gonna drive that thing with that tight spin. So the radius of his swing, I gotta make like two feet short. That's number one. And number two, go ahead and turn. turn. Okay, now, I gotta go like this. This would be A and this would be B. When he, this is gonna be a different feeling. When he swings a racket, Chris, the racket head has to be above the wrist. I don't know if he's ever done that in his life. He's always put the racket down too soon, and then he just lifts his body up in here. So what you're gonna do, this is gonna feel weird, okay? Either one or two things gonna happen. I'm gonna really improve your strokes, or you'll never probably come back again. One of the two things gonna happen, watch. <laughs> so watch it. You're gonna go here, and then you're gonna go like that. No, see how he did it again. That was better, but it's almost like if you plant a tree. See, I want him to swing the racket with this cock. Now you're probably going, Rick, how am I supposed to hit it? When you pull it, just like I was telling Kai, it goes down and back on its own. So what I'm saying is the fundamentals of the stroke, no matter how he did the stroke, Chris, no matter how you do the stroke, the racket heads above the wrist when you start swinging. See, you know, you don't put it down and just lift it. That's what you see with like club players, men and women. They just they don't use their body right, so they just they just lift the whole thing up in the air. So turn sideways, set it right there. So you're gonna start with the racket right there. I'm gonna start you there, and all you're gonna do is pull it, and it's gonna go that way, that way on its own, and then you do the follow through like your coach wants. So you're gonna start the first progression from right here. So if there's a dog. Dogs at five o'clock. Now you're gonna tap him. This is cocked up in here. Right there. You're just gonna pull it and do your thing.
left arm across your body. Out of boy. Do not move the racket. Don't move it. Just pull from there. Out of boy. Again. Now, he's going, wow. He said, don't move your body. I meant, don't move your racket. You can always move your body. All right? Because we got to work on your feet, but that's a whole different subject. You can move your feet, but keep your racket set like that. You're doing a great job, buddy. Way to listen. Wow. Not bad. Set the racket by the clock. Again. And see, this is why it's not his fault. That's why you see this a lot from him. It's, it's not your fault. It's because of how he put the racket there. It has to go there. I'm going to, your whole follow, your whole stroke's going to change. Set it at 5 o'clock with your wrist cocked up in the air. Set it. Pull it. That's okay. That's okay. Focus on the hand. Good. Stay right near the baseline. Doing a good job. Set the racket right there. Don't move it. Doing a good job. Okay, now, first step. Adjust your feet a little bit to make life easy for you. Bend your knees a little bit to make life easier for you. You're doing a good job of keeping the racket there on the press. I like it. This is the first progression. I'm going to give you a plan. Set it right away. Don't, don't let anything flow. Yeah. Just keep it just right there. And pull it. Out of pull it. Good. doing good. You're doing exactly what I want. Let me explain one thing. And this is where you got, I'm glad, it's good that you came, because I'm gonna, I can nip this in the bud. See, he's, by him putting the racket like down too quickly, it's caused him to go like this. All right? And that's not how you really, that may be how you hit a lob or a top spin lob. So your shoulder comes up prematurely. You have no choice because he's putting the racket down. I won't even go like this. So keep your head still. When you pull it, keep your arm going like this, low to high, like that. Don't make yourself come up like that. But he had to do that because the racket was down already. So he had to kind of just kind of pull everything up in the air. Do you see what I mean? So you'd be falling backwards, you're doing all these movements. So when you hit, here's the moral of the story. I want him to keep his head still, do your stroke like I want, and just go like this. I want his head to look at the ground after you hit it. If you do that, it's gonna stop the body from popping up. Why? I'm slipping. Set that racket. Set it. Again, set your racket. Now you're gonna pull it and afterwards look down. Good try. Again, set it right there, five o'clock. Don't move it, don't move it. Oh, look at your head. It's not your fault. See, you're so used to going like this. See, see that? See, it should be like this. Look straight down after you hit it. Set your racket aid. Now, watch for when I say your head. You're doing better. Right here. So it's not that way. Show me. Swing and look down at this spot where you hit it. See where he's looking forward? I want him to look to the side. You know, look to the side where the ball was. That's it. You've seen a guy named uh, Better. You've probably seen something like this. It's almost like his head is backwards. So, I'm doing this aid as a corrective technique for you. All right? Plant a tree. Again. Plant a tree. Don't move it from there. You're not going to move it from there. But you see, it's hard for him not to do the head thing. Yeah. Because he's so used to, because he's throwing the trunk. And like you mentioned, you said he's doing all these movements. He can't help it. It's a cause and an effect. Set the racket. Okay, put your racket back like this. There you go. Now, look down after you hit. Because watch, here comes the ball. Look, here comes the ball. I hit it, look where my head is. I hit it, and I stay there. I stay right where the ball was. 
Does that make sense? Keep the racket at above. You're doing a good job, buddy. Stay with me. This is something you're gonna work on at home. Great, good try. Again, plant the tree. Don't move Set it. it. It's stuck at five. Don't move it. Oh, I like that. I like the racket on that one a lot. There's the flip. Now keep your head right there. Look down, right where the ball is. Not bad. Keep the racket, set the racket. First progression, I'm still there. Right at 5.30, 5 o'clock. Don't move it. Good nice. Good job, good job. Awesome. Can you look set down? It. No, can you? Look down at the ground after you hit, after you hit it. I've seen what it's gonna do going to make him stay into the shot longer because he's blowing out of that thing so early. And I know when you add intensity, you're really going to you're going you're gonna to be like a hurricane over there. A lot of moving parts. I can see where this is going. Don't move the racket. You're doing a great job. Okay, if you look down at the ground, after you hit it, I'll give you a t-shirt. I'm going to have to bribe you to see what happens. I didn't know. Again. Okay, one more. Okay, conference. Other than different, and I know we're not going super fast. Other than different, what does this feel like? And you can say whatever you want. You can say awful, weird, better, more soft. You can say any words you want, whatever you want to say. Or you can say the same, I don't know. Sorry, what's the Okay. Go back, do your old stroke. Yeah, that's not good, he's not in touch with his do your old stroke, the Austin special. That was actually a shorter stroke, as a little bit of what I was telling you. Okay, well, that isn't how you did the first couple. When I first fed him, he didn't do that. But I like what you're doing. Now what I want you to do from the ready position, that was actually pretty good. I want you to go like this. A, B, and then pull it. So you're gonna chop it up. Ready? A, B, shot buddy. A, B, great hand-eye coordination. But show me you can look down at the court after you hit. Again, A, B, pull and roll see how this is always like that and that's why we got it that's why this head thing looking down it's a game changer for you I'm telling you he's already gotten into a bad habit this guy about doing this stuff you're actually picking up what I want with the stroke I'm, I'm pleased with that but I want you to go like this you got to push the butt cap down at five o'clock better show me this movement one two Pull and roll. Here we go. Bend your knees. Shorten it up. Right, right here. Look. It's right off of your right hip. Look. There's my right hip. There's the hand. The hand, the hand stays on the hitting side. The hand's on the hitting side. Where the a couple of those before, your hand went behind. A, B, Try it. Move your feet. Keep that head still. Now show me B where you go like this. Push the butt cap down. No, no. Unit turn. Do the unit turn. And then push it down. Here we go. Atta boy. Good try. Keep your head still. Again. Push that. A. B. Not bad. Show me after you hit it, you can look at the ground. A, B, again. A, B, nice. Again. Again. A, B, pull and roll. Ready? Again. 
first thing that we got to establish is the plan. The plan is the shoulders take it back and the racket goes to the outside. And there's a clock here, 5 or 5.30. So you got to keep that racket head on this side of your body. Then when you do your stroke, I'd like for you to keep that head still. A few more, you get a drink. Again. Nice. There you go. Keep your head still. Nice, nice try. Move your feet a little bit. Not bad. Grab a quick drink. Here's what you got going on. This guy, he likes to play, as you already know. He likes to play with his arm. Even though I'm talking about his arm, I'm just trying to show where the racket should go. But he needs to really play with more what we call angular momentum or more rotation of the body. But he, he's never really understood how to do it because he goes like this. And he never, he never rotates, at least Kai, when he hits the ball, his shoulders rotate through. And this guy's just this. So you see his body falling backwards. You see all these contortionist moves. 